So now let's apply color to our characters right over here, just like this. So I'm just going to select this out and then I'm going to go to windows right over here. And to work with colors, I'm going to go to sorters, just like this. And here are different colors that we can work with. So I can just expand this out as you can see. So I can go over here and click this and you can see that the color has been applied. I can go over here, select another color and apply that as well. Go over here, select another color. Simple enough. But if I want a specific color, then what I have to do is I have to go around here and create, let's say, for example, a new color. So I have to click on new swatch. Once I click on it, you can see that a copy swatch is there. I can also go over here, double click on it and rename it to, let's say, for example, custom color right over here. Once I go over here, you can see that there's the color type, there's the color mode and everything else. I can change around, let's say, cyan, magenta and yellow color right over here and bring this in to get the color I want. I can also go over here and go for RGB color if that is what we want to work with. So there's no direct way of selecting color as you can see, but you can go over here and change it up. You can also alternatively take the eyedropper tool and go around and select any color that's around here as you can see. So you can bring in an image or something and then uh, work around with that as well, just like that as you can see. So you can go around here, use the eyedropper tool and take any sample just like that and even go beyond the screen right over here onto a picture that you want to work with. Just like that, you can select out the color you want to. So I'm just going to go around and select this color and I'm going to press OK and the color has been changed and you can apply that out right over here. And that is how you work around with colors, just like that. You can go around here. There's also like lab colors right over here. So if you were to change it, there's like lab color right over here and can process it out right over here. You also have hexadecimal codes if you want to and put that out just like that. So similarly, even if you were to go over here on to let's say paragraph options on to uh, let's say for example, right over here in the uh, options for paragraph borders and shadings, right over here there's working with color as well. So by default the color is black. You can select the same color over here as well and select the type of the uh, border right over here. Press OK and that's how you bring in colors as you can see. And that's how you can work with colors inside of Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.